This is the reading for the sign of uh, Capricorn, a very pragmatic sign. The main characteristic are the career and the status and in this way the pub public image because it's also the ruler of the 10th house and if you will think of uh, the house is like really the house we are building, this will be the exterior, what we want to show to the world. This is the house of fulfillment and social status. Here is where we see structures, corporation, tradition, ambition, public image and fame, discipline, achievements, recognition, rules and father figure. It is also associated with power and authority as well as the people who exert him. So it's the house of I achieve. People in with this sign are normally hard workers, high achiever and responsible partners both in uh, private life and of course at home. The ruler of this sign is the planet Saturn, the one of boundaries, limitation, delays, responsibilities and the cards associated we have here the world for uh, the Saturn and the devil for the Capricorn. If we think of uh, the sign Capricorn as a very earthly sign, also uh, talking about leadership and initiation, and with this desire to get a status, even if that sometimes success can come at a cost, the devil card is the one appropriated for uh, this uh, sign, because Capricorn is the only one that can beat the devil at the game of cards. They both understand that in the material world we talk about trials and temptation. And the devil as such is also an earthly creature uh, rooted in the material world associated with the pleasure and pain of uh, physical existence. We see a lot of fire and of course the temptation because in order to get to achieve uh, you need to resist to temptation or you need to know how far your limits are and even if you are willing to do whatever it takes to get the success to know when to stop the restrictions are also coming from Saturn the planet that rules Capricorn who is actually the cosmic teacher and time is our best teacher and if we think that he was the god of time but also of agriculture and on a special celebration in the Roman time in uh, Saturnalia, there was no more social order. The slaves will not be treated as a slaves anymore. That's an idea behind this is that every uh, hero is not entirely good or entirely bad. We are energy, we come back uh, in energy, we just transform and then we need to remember to make the best of uh, our story, what doesn't kill us, what the devil kill us, that it just makes us stronger. So in a way Saturn is a cosmic teacher who has the best interest of heart for his hero, for us. If we think of the structure of the story, we always have the beginning, the middle and the end. And in the same time Saturn just has a return at every 30 years. So it's the beginning when we move from uh, childhood to maturity and then from maturity to the period of uh, wisdom. I will do a reading for every uh, deacon of this sign. Then we will see what is the influence of the super rulers. This is the reading for the second period of uh, Capricorn. We have the ruler Saturn and for this period from 31 December to 9 of January we have Mars in Capricorn, Mars the super ruler. He is feeling like a very honored guest. He loves to go down to business, to have goals of the objective, especially in the thin house of the one that is uh, associated with Capricorn. It's the perfect place for Mars with his uh, tower-like energy to uh, become the inspiration that brings practical results. We look at the card from um, the Minor Arcana, the Tree of Pentacles associated with this period. It's called the Lord of Material Works and the connection is that once we get action, we can create the change that we want to see in the world. 
it's a number three it's also uh, associated with venus the contrapartner of mars with growth and reward because if we look at the card before there are here three people making plans so these three uh, people we can imagine them as being the one the dreamer the visionary the manager maybe the one with the money the third person it's real the the one who's going to do the work and that we see very well in this card where uh, the one doing the work sits a little bit higher than the rest because in the end he is the one uh, very important and if we look at the card from the other side we see that he's already actually at work and there are some materials maybe coming uh, for for the work they are doing the work they are doing seems to be a church here we see already the same uh, plan here coming to life and he is busy with it so this is a symbol of uh, connecting of something big connecting the earth to heaven and if we look at the card after he already finished maybe his first day of work of the day of work where he already created this uh, statue and this uh, place as a kind of recognition that the person really doing the work, the doer, is one of the most important. We can also see this card as uh, the three aspects of ourselves: the one who is having ideas, so the dreamer, then you need a concrete planning, and then you start uh, really doing. So for you, with uh, this uh, Mars in Capricorn, you can ask yourself, how do you work with others? Do you work well with others? Do you recognize each person's expertise? Do you appreciate them for their uh, work? How are you taking the criticism so that the work can be done even better? And that's one of the aspects that comes back in other cards as well. The communication being very important. These three people are talking here and we see here three hands coming together, different culture, different nationalities, even they speak different languages, but in the end, the communication, if they respect, if they work together, they can create amazing things. And the same uh, idea, we also see it in the sun and the moon, the creator, the artist at work, uh, with his mastery, but also the fact that he gets his inspiration from different cultures about the teamwork, this beast. They are an example of uh, teamwork. And sometimes the, the work it's, um, it takes a lot of time, like building a church, of course, it's a long process. So you need a lot of uh, determination and being focused and a willpower. This is what Mars brings in this uh, uh, period very much. I just read somewhere that for a little spoon of uh, honey, these bees have to work like hundreds of hours and we just take it and... Uh, we enjoy it, the result of their um, hard work. If we see the intuitive night goddess Tarot, we see this goddess who is very proud of her work. She used the energy of the fire that goes through this wand to channel it. So she works in alignment with her passion and creativity and, of course, spirituality. And if we look at these crystals here, then it's a sign that it takes a lot of time to become really good in something and every project takes a lot of time. If we look at the Kawaii Tarot, again we see what an amazing things in these three of coins uh, you can do. So you have a lot of uh, talents, but you had help along the way in realizing all these uh, amazing uh, things. If we look at the Angel uh, card Tarot, we have this beautiful card that talks about the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, the fact that you are a team player and that also implies that you can listen to criticism. Sometimes maybe you need a compromise so because if everybody does what they know better, maybe you have the impression that your ideas are always the good one. But in a teamwork, it's important to recognize everybody's abilities and then just to make even compromises when it's necessary so you can uh, 
continue working. If we look at the <clears throat> history of pentacles from the White Sage Tarot, we see that uh, the communication is the key in, in the way you know how to listen and the way you uh, add your uh, input. This is the color of the throat chakra. From the Naked Heart Tarot, we have for the Three of Pentacles these uh, three ants who are carrying huge pentacles on their back. With dedication and uh, teamwork, they can achieve uh, something much bigger than themselves. And that's also for you, that if you remain open to feedback, you can advance and then you, you can see the new opportunities that uh, can help you build your skill set and uh, knowledge. It's about organization, goal planning and follow through, allowing each person in a team to bring their unique skills and learn how to listen. And if we look to the Herb Crafters Tarot, the tree of earth, it's the raspberry. Fill your basket with companionship and collaboration. Nourish your body, savor simple pleasures. Baskets of juicy red berries sit on the grass on a bright summer day. Two rows of raspberry extended down a clover filled path toward the foothills of a mountain. The bushes overflow with flowers and fruit. The ripe ones come easily. Cedar trees line the boundary of the land. The sky shines blue with small puffy white clouds. So it's a very idyllic image. It shows a lot of work was already done but it, the fact that it's done together that companion brings also joy to any type of hard work trust your leadership and organizing skills when you work in a team approach people with clear expectation and agreements and also keep in mind that the first year raspberry canes create a foundation for the second year so pract practically you also create value for the generation to come you are competent and up to the task, but keep yourself strong. And they are just delicious. So don't forget in all this work also to enjoy the sweetness of life. And with that, I hope uh, this uh, interpretation of uh, Mars in uh, Capricorn is useful for you. Thank you for watching.